Welcome to this short demonstration on how to complete a data only restore using Double Take Backup. The first task is to determine the point in time that we wish to restore. Double Take Backup provides a view point in time feature that allows us to view any version of the data to the nearest second. Simply choose the server image, select an available point in time from either hourly snapshots or specific point in time to the nearest second, then click finish. The selected data is then instantly mounted and available in the path specified. Browse for the data using Windows Explorer. In this demonstration I'm using a text file for my data. It is easy to see in this text file that this point in time is not suitable for a restore. It is very simple to repeat the view point in time process and select a earlier time. In this case, I'm going to select a time two minutes earlier to the previous attempt. Again, I can use Windows Explorer to view the point in time image. Browse for the same file in the same folder. This time we can see it is actually a valid version of the data before the corruption had occurred. I could of course simply copy the file from the point in time image, but if there is a lot of data it is better to use the recovery mode which will use double take replication engine to complete the restore. Select the recover data option then select the backup repository server. Select the server image, choose a point in time from either live data, snapshot or a specific point in time. We already know the particular time we need to recover, so we'll specify that same time as discovered earlier. In this demonstration, we will recover the file back to the branch office server called Canberra server. We could choose to recover the entire server, but this is a data only restore, so we'll select recover selected data only. Browse for the file, hit the next button, select a location we wish to restore to, so in this case we'll go to the same location the file came from originally. We really want to keep the original protection job running. This will ensure that when the file has been restored, it will be continue to be backed up to the repository server. We have the usual double take transmission options such as compression and bandwidth limiting and email notifications. When we hit the finish button, double take is going to connect to the target server, going to connect to the repository server, it's going to create the replication set, move the data and the recovery will be complete. Once the recovery is complete, we can use Windows Explorer to browse the original Canberra server to find the file that has been restored and verify that the corrupt data has actually been removed and we have restored to a version before the corruption occurred. The final step in the process is to delete the recovery job.